this is going to be my September 2021 empties. I have products here that I like, products here that I don't like. First, starting off with the Bath & Body Works Hibiscus Paradise. This is a 24-hour moisture body lotion with shea butter plus vitamin E. Some of the notes are pink hibiscus, juicy guava, and sun-kissed coconut. If you have sensitive skin, this might not be the lotion for you. It might make you break out. This has a strong perfume fragrance to it. It reminds me of a popular fragrance from Avon. But for the most part, this smells really good. If you have sensitive skin and you can do all those perfumes and strong scents, this might irritate your nose and irritate your skin. Next, I have the Fiji Sunshine Guava. This is a 24-hour moisture shea butter plus vitamin E body lotion from Bath & Body Works. The notes to this are sun-kissed guava, fresh orange, and seaside jasmine. It's a tropical scent. I'm not a big fan of tropical and sweet smells, but this is this is a good one. Next, I have the Nivea Body Lotion Cocoa Butter. Rethink soft because soft unites us all with deep nourishing serum and cocoa butter and vitamin E. Overall, I like this lotion. It's really moisturizing and hydrating to the skin. Overall, the scent to this is really fresh. It's like a Nivea scent mixed with I guess cocoa butter but it's really really light and it smells good though it's, it's good it smells fresh I like it so I can refresh my scents yeah it's good it's fresh it's just definitely that Nivea scent with like cocoa butter but it's like really it's balanced out really well next i have love always wins from bath and body works uh the notes to this is sugar lemons mandarin and nectar the scent of this is definitely like citrus berry sweet i mean it smells good this is a nice body wash next i have the capri body wash from bath and body works the key notes here are lemon and these these two other words i'm not even about to make out because uh i'm not but this smells like lemonade sweet lemonade Mm-hmm. smells smells good smells like lemonade Next, I have this body wash from OGI or OG, I guess it's OGX. First, I think that they should put their labeling more bigger, just out instead of it being at the bottom, like put it bigger so we know what to call you. I thought this was the label at first. It says scrub and wash. Gently cleanse your skin with this restorative blend infused with rose water, rose quartz, and pink sea salt. Overall, just based on the packaging, it would have been nice for them to specify what made them put rose quart crystals in their body wash. Is it in the exfoliant? Because there are exfoliant beads in here. Are you guys like, how are you putting it in here? Like, are you liquefying it? Like, how are you putting rose quart crystals inside of this body wash? Do you expect somebody to have a better experience or something like that? So one, when it comes to the packaging, I, I think they should specify what made them use rose quart crystals. Also specify more on the scent. The scent to this is very tangy. When I first got this, I wasn't impressed by the scent. I was actually a little taken back by it. I didn't really like it at first. I was like, this is just a weird, it's a unique scent. But over time, it grew on me. It smells good now. Now I'll tell you it smells good. This has a really tangy, it reminds me of like Himalayan salt, tangy sea salt, citrus scent to it but it smells really good it gives me like energy vibes because of the citrus scent in here 
Overall, this was a nice body wash. I just think the packaging should be more descriptive. Specify on the back, like it'll just tell you why you want it. Embrace relaxing and soft, supple skin. Da, da, da. Then it says what to do. But it doesn't really talk about why. Like what what are the notes in here? Um, why? What made you use rose quartz? Like What can you do with this soap since you want to go out of your way? How did you melt these rose quartz down to fit in this bottle? Or are there shaved pieces of rose quartz in here? How? What's going on with this? But other than that, this was a nice body wash. It smelled really good. Next, I have the Olive Oil Edge Control Hair Gel Sweet Almond Oil. I don't really like this edge control because... It didn't give me the desired hold. You'll definitely get a better hold out of this once your hair is washed. You'll get a better hold and you'll get desired shine, you know. And I don't really like too much shine in my hair and that's what this does. This adds shine. But this just didn't have enough hold for me. Next I have the Dove Soothing Care. This left my skin feeling balanced out with moisture and hydration. It left my skin feeling really nice. The scent to this is it's a really nice, fresh, comforting scent. Smells good, you know. I like it. Um, yeah, this is definitely Dove has always been a favorite since I was little. This has always been, you know, my go-to soap. So this is good. It balances out everything well, and I like it. All right, and that is my September 2021 empties.